No one was expecting what that woman said during that school board meeting on Monday. We reached out to her for comment, but have not yet heard back. My address was put out there. We were threatened, and why? Because he said. A white woman's use of the N-word at a Gross Point school board meeting Monday is causing quite the controversy in the points. This happens to be in every song, the FCC, the John Connors, the, the who's who are in charge. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm you, sorry. You can finish, but just watch I, I'll, the I'll language. watch it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The woman was upset about her son's suspension and seemed to associate the district's diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts with him being disciplined for using the N-word in a social media post and in a video. What was your initial reaction hearing her comments? Um, frankly, I was shocked. Um, I actually kind of paused for a second and had one of those moments where I'm like, did I just hear that? Gross Point School Superintendent Dr. John Dean condemned the woman's remarks at the end of the meeting, as did board trustee Margaret Wirtz. And that is certainly not appropriate language to use. It's, it's racist and appropriate language. Even so, do you feel like the board's response could have been stronger in the moment those remarks were made? I, I do. Um... I wish it had been. Abigail Ward was at the meeting and says the woman's comments came right after she, who's married to a black man and has biracial kids, thanked the district for its efforts on diversity and inclusion. I'm just concerned as a parent that the more and more lines continue to be crossed, how much will at, at what point will the board then speak up? The woman who used the N-word in the meeting blamed her son's use of it on his aunt and hip hop. His chocolate, dark chocolate aunt, auntie got him into straight out of Compton, okay? So my boy got straight out of Compton. He's into it, all the old school hip hop. Being introduced by his chocolate brown auntie doesn't make it right. And for her to do it at a board meeting to be so offensive, to disregard any of the brown aunties out here in the district and parents and students who hear this and exposed to, you know, the meetings. How do you think that made us feel? Now, the school board president released a statement earlier today, which said in part that they condemn the remarks, the language that the woman used during Monday's meeting. And from here on out, anyone using inappropriate language will be removed from school board meetings. Root Monica. Thank you, Randy.